the sea. <laughs> it's not open. <clears throat> comes on and you know she is like the classiest person what a cool person and she's telling the story about how it was Carol Burnett how she was in uh, doing a, a college play thing in San Diego and after the play this guy came up to her and he says so what do you want to do with your career and she says well I've got to go to New York to make it and he says uh, I'm going to do something for you. She says, I can't afford it. She says, do you really want to do it? She says, I saw that same thing. And she says, he gave her $1,000 and then she paid it back, which back then, $1,000 was a lot of money back a in the 50s. Money. But the thing is, is that she paid it back, which in five years, if you make, if you're good enough, you're going to make it. Like, you know, seriously. Well, back then it was a lot easier to make it, actually. Uh, the skill. You know, if you can sing, dance, and... and uh, yeah, well, it used to be, that's what it used to be. It used to be that if you had the skills... You might not make there a victory, but... There weren't going to be millions of people that were trying. Exactly. Well, because it's almost... It's like sports, really. A lot of inter entertainment industries. It's obvious when someone comes on stage three weeks in a row and they bomb that they're no good. Or that when they come on three weeks in a row, they blow everybody away. And of course, back then there was also the casting couch and all that stuff that got a lot of people in that shouldn't have been in. But mainly, like I said, there weren't. First of all, back in even even, the six, the, even in the '60s, there were no uh, uh, the entertainment business business was not a uh, entertainers were looked down upon. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You know, that's not a real, that's not a real uh, profession. profession. There's lots of people who were, who were, became famous, left the industry and did something else. Yep. Lots of people. And partially it is because it's the lifestyle. I don't know if I'm going to have a paycheck and I've got kids now. Yep. Actually, I know a lot of musicians that played rock and roll up until they were about 30. Some of them had kids, but they were like, you know, it's not paying anymore. And literally our industry, the club industry, TJ's industry, took a hit from the early 90s on and... Uh, well, it started in the late 80s with the alcohol stuff, but by the 90s it was just gone. Well, there's so many things to compete with and also karaoke took over things and uh, again, I still have a real problem with that. That's a living room thing. It doesn't belong on stages. Live musicians belong on stages, and you shouldn't be allowed to get on stage drunk. But then again, the talk shows on radio are supposed to have live, local entertainment for four hours every day, and they don't. That's the law. And they do it by having fucking talk radio shows, for Greg example, Gamer Howard died. Stein. Did you see that? Greg Gamer died. Yeah, I saw that. I was on the Wichita Walk website. Yeah, I saw you clicked on something. I can't remember what it was. I just looked at a whole bunch of different stuff. That, yeah, that was that was. Oh, I did uh, respond to someone that uh, about ask about Ferrells, and I said, "Well, I worked there." Yeah, I didn't see that. Anybody remember Ferrells? There for a year. Matter of fact, I can say I was the first person to ever get a Ferrells uh, birthday. I was on, on the 5th of July, which was the day I started, and that was the day they we started our training. I was the first person they was like, wow. I'm going to 
probably go back and uh, put the song lyrics. Barrels is fabulous fun for everybody. Yeah, you should. Barrels is fabulous fun. Barrels is food to get in the mood. Because barrels is fabulous. Barrels is fabulous. Barrels is fabulous fun. Uh, I didn't know at the time, but the music they were playing was all early blues, ragtime, and jazz on the system. Of course, they had the player piano, which was uh, one of the things uh, Daryl, Daryl, player piano, he had that contract with the entire player piano, uh, Farrell's industry. He got to do their pianos. I thought it was right here they were building up. It must be farther down. I thought I could see it be right here, though. It's interesting, there was a whole bunch of different places that had player pianos. Yep. Shakey's. And, uh, that is an industry that ended with pretty much the 70s. I was there at the end of it. Yeah. But because of that thing of the movie The Sting and a couple of things in the 50s, Darrell was able to make an entire industry go on. It actually reminds me now of, of the two band industry that's, that's ending, that's going to end eventually. It's, it's, uh, it's an old technology that had its time, but if they didn't have the automatic typewriters, World War II wouldn't have happened the way it did. That technology was ended by the end of World War II because the modern computer was invented right after that. Love to come around that corner and then go straight down Friday. The other day when I, you know, ate here dinner we are. Downtown. Gas prices are almost three dollars again. Yeah, and it's uh, like I've been one of my posts I made on YouTube. About the fact that when the gas prices crashed in 2008, prices didn't go down. Yep. But now that gas prices are going back up, prices are going back up. Hmm. Because we've got to, we're not making the profit if we don't have that gas price. Blah, blah, blah. Well, that's well, what you started the inflation cycle in 1972. Well, that, that was part of it. Yeah, the, the whip inflation now thing. And, and, and it was wrong for us to um, have the laws oh, yeah, that, was wrong. that that were um, where they had the uh, price controls, price and wage controls. That's a lot of the problem was that as soon as business started coming around again, they said, well, we're going to make our profit back that we didn't make for the last seven years. Well, when the price has tripled on gasoline or more than that in a, in a period of, uh, of uh, a couple of years where, where my actual income didn't triple. Yeah, exactly. Let me get a salad. The price of a car tripled in, that, in, in price in, in a matter of in less than 10 years. And uh, it went from where I could actually consider buying a car. I love this. Yeah, I want a uh, cilantro lime salad chicken. Okay. Anything else for you? Uh, a small cherry Fanta. All right. Anything else? 
That should take a you are you good? Is everything like cracked on your screen? Looks great, thanks. Alright, it'll be 959 at the window. Thank you. Thank you. Um I haven't had my salad this month, so I had the one from Kate's. I was month. sitting at the, that restaurant downtown the other day and it was like a really perfect day. And uh, I was thinking about Everett compared to when we moved here because it was a dirty, grimy place. No, go ahead. You know? And now it's like, I mean, sweet. Yeah. It's a bedroom community for Seattle almost. And downtown is as sweet as any area I know of to go sit in. I mean, nice shops. Hang around, yep. Yeah. Uh, Colby especially. It's just such a, I don't know. Well, it's got all the charm of a. It's the charm small of a town. small town. Actually, that's an interesting thing. It's like almost an ultimate thing, and it's the charm of a small town, but right in the midst of the big city where you, you know, got the mix. But one of the things that's great about living around here is the fact that all the small towns didn't get incorporated into one big city. There are all these small towns all over the place. Is there a stupid drive pill taken today? Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Perfect, thank you. Do you all like the sea hot? And would you like any hot sauce or ketchup? No, thank you. Definitely give me my sugar fill for the day. <laughs> All right, here you go. Thank you very much. I uh, had spaghetti pasta on. Uh, what is this Friday? So on Wednesday I had my pasta. And that was my day that I, my stomach was a little upset. And uh, so what I always do with my extra pasta now, see, is uh, I put it in a pan the next day and then cook it, bake it. Oh! So it's baked spaghetti or baked zucchini or baked ziti or whatever. And I put cheese on top of it so it melts all through it and everything like that. Up because and I still don't know what's what's causing it. My stomach was about sick as shit. After we came back yesterday, mm -hmm. I was sitting there for a little while and man, my stomach just started going crazy. I have no idea what's causing it. So right now I'm okay. That's why I get a salad. I'm thinking, well, the salad can't can't mess my stomach up. why Americans are fat. You, I, want, I see it every day. People so should be walking someplace and they're driving or cutting across the street and they're overweight. If you're five foot five, you should not have a 28 inch neck. <laughs> yeah. Let's put it nicely. The Honey Boo Boo episode on South Park. Why did yeah. I ever let myself go that far? I'm looking at the girl who was working there at Fred Meyer. She used to be cute. She's got bigger arms than I have fucking legs, and she's five foot fucking two. Yep. And she works. She's on her feet all day long, so there's got to be a reason. I remember when she started working there. Well, 
there's another girl who's 95 percent of the people that are i know overweight you are sexual covering. abuse somehow well they not just that they're covering up something whether it's the sexual molestation or the just abuse just abuse and women are abused and I was some movie uh, I was watching just a second of it before I flipped to Dick Cabot. And this guy, he's, his wife is telling him off about something. And he fucking grabs her by the shoulders and then slaps her across the face. And he turns her away and he's looking at her and he goes, You want to know why I did that? And she says, You should have done it a long time ago. Yeah. And I'm going like, <laughs> In Family Guy, there's one where Robert Mitchum slaps his girlfriend and he says, she says, you don't love me? He says, I slapped you, didn't I? Yeah. Wow. Uh, we... Okay, it's because of Grandpa being beat, be beating Grandma, we knew it was wrong. Mm -hmm. The fact that um, I thought it was an isolated thing, that they were very rare, you didn't know, and but then again, there's all those kids that never take you home to their house. I don't know how many of them were alcoholic families or were you know, horrible. Uh, because the Murphy's father was had a stroke and we went over to his their house all the time. They weren't embarrassed by that. No. No, but... I... Maybe it's because some people, are they don't want to talk, talk about it. They're afraid of what's going to happen. We were not afraid. People say, well, my grandpa beat my grandma who was wrong. Well, you know, it, it's it's like I think about the, the Victor and the street we grew up on there and, and all the families up and down. And the Dugas family, for instance. Come on. The Mark Bell. I don't think that was just for the kids. Something that I thought was very interesting. The Phillips family. When I was a teenager, yeah, there's a whole lot that I don't quite get that's going on there. But well, I the Morandi family was different. Uh, and you know, you know what, what they what they did, right? Pizza Hut. They were. I mean, we didn't know that at the time. It's a crosswalk right there. Mm -hmm. Shouldn't have to stop, stand, sit there at the cross, stand there, wait for, at the crosswalk. You should have just walked right across. The kids do. They don't look both ways at all. If they have to look both ways, I mean, they should. But if they do, it, they shouldn't have to stop. They shouldn't stop any place. It's been making me mad for a while how people do not honor, on side streets, they do not honor the pedestrian. And that's the place they definitely should. It's the attitude I'm paying for gas, I should be able to do anything I want. I'm, I have more money. I'm, I have more rights than people who don't have a car. Well, you know, when I when I talk to uh, 